So g'day fellow banknote collectors, and what do you know, this is Glenn, and I have more Vietnamese banknotes, so if you're new to my channel, I do make a lot of videos on banknotes and coins, and I do have a particular image in Vietnam, and is there any reason, and no, not really, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, I just find those countries pretty interesting, like Burma, yeah, not really much so, neither India, um, Bhutan, yeah, that's all right. But their banknotes are pretty standard. But Vietnam just has an interesting history. They also issued uh, some coins as well in the past. They used to use uh, cash coins. So this is a Chinese one. This is a Vietnamese one. And as you can see, uh, this I think is Vietnamese. I looked it up. It was Vietnamese anyway. That's an old cash coin. So we're going back in history. So the 2000 dong that you see here is a currently circulating banknote. And the only differences you'll find is that the serial numbers and the prefixes uh, do have different fonts on them. So I think there's like three at the moment, but there probably is more. So this one is the coat of arms of Vietnam. So this is United Vietnam, not North and South. Ho Chi Minh. And 1988. So this is from the second dong of the United Series currency. And here, your textile workers. Obviously, this side has a bit of color, and it's quite a nice bank note. So this is a value of probably about 10 cents in Australian currency. And uh, basically, if you get a whole bunch of these bank notes and you're going to Vietnam, just take them and spend them. Not really worth that much. Okay, the next two that we have. From the first United Dong series, which was first issued in uh, 1978. Okay, so here we have the two Dong. And as you can see, it's been circulated. They're no longer in circulation. So these are probably just a few dollars each. Just a coat of arms. Once again, they do have different fonts on them. And on the back, we have a bridge. So... In 1978, when they issued the 1976 series, they didn't issue the two dong. This is issued later as the economy was well, pretty much stuffed. But it just started to get back to normal. And this just has a river scene. It's probably in Mekong River. But I'm not too sure. If anyone knows where this place is, uh, please let me know. And then we have the 10 dong. So this one also has different fonts on it. And the Tendong, well, they did issue two series, 1976 and 1980. And this one is the 1976 series. So we have Working Elephants. They also have a, uh, move, like a, it's got caterpillars on them. So cross between, yeah, just the earth moving equipment. I don't even know what it's called. I've never seen any of these in Australia. Um, we just don't use them. And this is the logging industry. So it's a, Vietnam's a tropical place. So they do have a lot of uh, trees. And this one's probably about, yeah, yeah $5 or less you can pick them up for. So I'd say if you're paying more than $10, uh, you'd probably be paying over the actual price that you should. Okay, so then we go back in time. So here we have the two banknotes from North Vietnam. And I do quite like these. And these are the later issues. So we have a Nam Tzu, so 5 Tzu. So that just means 5. That's the actual denomination, Tzu. And this is probably equivalent to 5 cents in Australia, Europe, in the United States. So you need 20 of these to equal 1 dong. So that's the equivalent value. But they did issue an aluminium coin, which I don't have any on me. Uh, they packed away. But this banknote was issued in 1975, so really it, it wasn't in circulation during the Vietnam War, which ended on the 30th of April 1975, when uh, the NVA, so North Vietnamese Army, and what's left of Viet Cong, uh, took Saigon, which is now Ho Chi Minh City. So there's two different varieties uh, with the 15 and 30 millimeter watermark they're a bit hard to tell with the actual printing so you need to put it under light and see which one it is and 
the smaller one is more common and the next bank note we have is a two hull so this is would be equivalent to 20 cents so you need five of these to equal one dong and or if for the two it's five of these bank uh, four of these banknotes equals one of these so it should be quite easy similar to the uh, chinese currency or even the united states currency we do have an error down here so a printing error uh, it looks like it's been folded hey you look you look on the side and you can see there's this actually color missing on the actual banknote so someone's folded this in free so that will class these banknotes very fine so here we have the coat of arms of vietnam and this was also issued in 1975 but this one has a date on it i think this one has the date somewhere uh, but i can't remember where the date is it's hard to tell uh, it's it's somewhere on this side oh there it is 1975 there you go so it's a bit harder to, to tell and on this banknote we have two people going around spraying crops looks like they're probably in a paddy field uh, in the southern part of vietnam have modern equipment and on the other side just a coat of arms so this was my first north vietnamese banknote that i did get so i do like this one very much Okay, so the next three we have are uh, from the enemy at the time. So North Vietnam, South Vietnam. And when they both united, it was Vietnam, which is the country that we know now. So these banknotes were first issued in 1955. And these are the bigger banknotes. They did have a similar, smaller issue, issued around the same time. And these were issued to... Uh, help with the changeover from the piesta although a lot of countries don't do that and we have a temple so this is a hung king temple and the watermark is a tiger which is uh they use quite a lot in these banknotes and this one's in almost uncirculated grade probably ef i can see there is a center fold on the banknote uh, and there's a, a small fold here but that's basically it it's basically clean with a bit of smudge there and on this side uh, we have the Vietnamese History Museum as we currently, currently know what it is and this bank note is probably about 10 to 20 dollars because of the condition that it is in and the next two uh, come from the same series the five dong is a, a banknote i quite like as you can see but green doesn't it, it for banknotes it just doesn't sit well uh, so like this type of green that's a terrible color to put on a banknote but this green so you've got a lighter green emerald green and a darker green which makes this banknote look quite nice so it's a 1955 issue, probably issued into the 60s. And on the front of it, uh, we have a phoenix flying around. And we also have a dragon. So, uh, so I'm getting Facebook notifications. Glad they don't show up on screen. And as you can see on the back, the state of the banknote is a lot better. So when I grade banknotes, I like to look at the back. Usually the front of them... Uh, has a lot more printing to show what it is and the back of the banknote uh, it generally is a lot wider so you can see this german banknote this is this green it covers up the actual condition this one's a lot easier to tell uh, whatever condition same with this finish band I mean, the back of it you can tell the condition quite easily front of it gets a bit harder to tell so that's how i like to grade the banknotes this one's probably uh, probably EF has one fold, although this will probably knock it down in its value. And we have a, a guy ploughing with an oxen on this side. We have dragons, so dragons are associated with a Chinese culture, so the emperor. But 
Vietnam as well as Korea and Japan adopted a lot of our Chinese culture and that's why you you look at Chinese TV shows and you think oh that looks a bit familiar it looks a bit Vietnamese-ish or uh, Japanese-ish and you realize if you look at the history that uh, the Japanese and Vietnamese have adopted a lot of culture from China but have incorporated and um, put their own influences on the whatever aspect of their culture is okay the next one we have is the tendong so this is the highest denomination of this series v1 this one's a little bit lower grade than the five dong it's probably very fine and it has a fish i hope it's not a carp it looks like a carp itself but it's probably a lot of indigenous fish in uh, Vietnam that I've never heard of. And then we have a dragon to the right. So a lot of these, they have dragons on them. Nah, I think it was still uh, a kingdom. So these are probably Vietnam. If you look at that, that says National Bank of Vietnam. Uh, Ten Dong. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it just says National Bank of Vietnam. has nothing about it being a republic. And on the back, we just have the junk boats. So, they're not named junk boats because they're uh, English junk. I think junk comes from Portuguese and has a different etymology than uh, whatever uh, entomology junk. As we think, you know, just rubbish has and it's a water scene so this is probably a coastline yeah, it could be anywhere on the vietnamese coast because it's quite extensive and what i like is that the cellar has uh, sealed this in hard plastic so i'm not too sure of the quality of the plastic but it seems quite sealed so this is a good thing to do when you are selling banknotes and you're sending them because sometimes the letters get wet and you just want to uh, seal it in. So obviously they haven't done all the banknotes. One dong has got a different type of plastic. Actually it's been sealed and then they put it in this type of plastic. And you can see the price it sells in Vietnam. So this is 45,000 Vietnamese dong. Which is probably equivalent to about $2.50 in Australia. I think it's like 17,000 dong equals one Australian dollar. But it's in English. So obviously this was not printed to sell to vietnamese probably to sell the tourists and they've got extremely fine for the actual grade but grades are subjective and yeah i would say that's probably extremely fine anyway i hope this helps you with your banknotes uh vietnamese banknotes i don't know i don't know why i just like them quite a lot and uh let me know which banknote is your favorite Okay, thank you very much and have an awesome banknote coin collecting time.